This video is closed captioned. Belize is a Caribbean paradise in Central America. You can trek through dense jungles or explore the endless blue waters of the Caribbean Sea. No matter what your interest is, Belize can offer the adventure of a lifetime. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Anthony, and I'll be your tour guide today. We've rounded up the best of the best and present the top 10 places you should visit in Belize. Number 10. Tobacco Calle if all you knew about Tobacco Calle was the name, you might pass it up when you come across it in travel guides, but you'd be missing out. This small island is only about 200 yards long and feels like near total isolation. Cruise ships don't make port here, and there are no ancient ruins to marvel at. So what is on the island? Hammocks, sunbathing, snorkeling, and the natural world. There are accommodations on the tiny island, but they aren't the luxury brands you typically find in heavily populated areas. But you will find brightly colored bungalows on stilts over the water, seaside cabins, and multi-room lodges that are even more budget-friendly. You'll certainly sacrifice a bit of convenience as you might find the local store closes earlier than you'd expect, but the island does force visitors to slow down and relax. Number 9. Placencia this sleepy fishing village gets quite a bit of attention from tourists and is one of the most popular places to visit in Belize. Stretching for about 19 miles, locals and marketers sometimes describe the Palencia Peninsula as the calle you can drive to. The natural beauty is what attracts many to Palencia. Similar to Tobacco Calle, relaxation is the primary spot. Unless you make a living here, you're likely heading out to fish daily. A long main street solely for pedestrians invites visitors to meander the street lined with artwork and murals. Plenty of cafes, restaurants, and local shops line the main thoroughfare. And enjoying an epic sunset on a deserted patch of beach is a memorable way to end the day. Number 8. Catacol Mayan ruins are synonymous with the Caribbean. Chichen Itza and Tulum get most of the traffic, but there are dozens of historical sites around Central America and the Caribbean. As such, places like Caracol are much easier to explore in relative peace, leaving the crowds of visitors to their devices at tourist traps like Tulum. You'll need to be part of a tour group or rent a car if you want to get to Caracol. Public transportation does not service this area. The pyramid at this site is the largest and highest Mayan structure in Belize, and from the top you can see both Belize and Guatemala. The impressive ruins have lost their vibrant paint jobs, but after 3,000 years, we'd all look a little rough around the edges. Number 7. Ambergris Calle Ambergris Calle is an extremely close neighbor of Mexico. Getting there from Belize City requires either a short plane ride or an hour-plus water taxi. There are several accommodations to choose from if you'd like an all-inclusive feel. There are luxury resorts on the island, but if you'd like a little more autonomy, you can rent a condo or apartment with a full kitchen and more comforts of home. There are many opportunities to explore the local cuisine. You won't necessarily find a bad meal in the busy beachfront area, but the most authentic and loved establishments the locals frequent are away from the tourist-heavy areas. You can explore the not-so-secret beach, a well-known hotspot for parties and day drinking. Snorkeling is also incredible, and you might see sharks, rays, lionfish, and other vibrant locals. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new travel video. Number 6. San Ignacio San Ignacio welcomes all but has become a hub for backpackers. Located along the Macal River, it's a great base of operations for exploring nearby Mayan ruins and even skipping town and heading to Guatemala. If you've ever been to a Mayan ruin, you know they're the perfect place to spot a sunning iguana. The green iguana exhibit at the San Ignacio Resort Hotel offers an even easier way to meet the local wildlife. You'll learn about the endangered creatures and their life cycle and even interact with them. It's part of a more extensive conservation program, and the resort is couched in a rainforest alive with 150 species of birds and 70 plant species. The local farmer's market is set up along the river and is open daily, offering fresh produce, dairy products, crafts, and artwork. Number 5. Belize City 
As the largest city in Belize, you'd be hard-pressed not to find something of interest. It was the capital city of Belize until hurricane damage prompted a relocation in the 1970s. It's still a major city and makes for a great base of operations for exploring the rest of the region. For those arriving by cruise ship, you'll first explore the Tourism Village, which is perfect for a cold beer or some quick souvenir shopping. The museum puts history front and center, displaying Mayan relics along the exhibits detailing the history of Belize, including the hurricane that caused untold flooding and damage. Belize City is also home to Central America's oldest Anglican church, St. John's Cathedral. Number 4. The Great Blue Hole the following location looks like something out of a science fiction movie, but some places on this planet are just too strange to make up. The Great Blue Hole in Belize is one such place. It's part of the Belize Barrier Reef System, which we'll get to later on the list. But this epic spot is worthy of its own place on the list. Several local companies offer plane or helicopter rides that allow you to see this natural phenomenon from above. Double down by arranging for a snorkeling or scuba tour next. This is a dream destination on just about any bucket list if you're a diver. If you can get down over 100 feet, underwater stalactites emerge from the murky depths, an indicator that this sinkhole was once above the water. Number 3. Half Moon Calle This easternmost island is the oldest protected area in Belize. It's not as heavily visited as Ambergris Calle, which you'll remember at number 7 on our list, which makes this untainted natural beauty all the more appealing. Because of its protected status, the amenities on the island keep the environment in mind. You won't find five-star resorts with air conditioning cranking 24-7. Instead, you'll find lovely glamping-style tents raised above the sand with a bed, minimal furniture, and an oil lamp. It's the most luxurious experience you'll find on Half Moon Calle. Because of the limited infrastructure on the island, night sky viewing is unparalleled. You'll be amazed at the clarity with which you can see the Milky Way and the sheer number of stars glittering in the sky. Number 2. Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary We've spent a great deal of this video talking about Belize's natural splendor, so of course, as we round out our list, we need to include some more ecotourism options. The Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary has a robust and diverse ecosystem. It's also the only jaguar preserve in the world. You might encounter tropical birds, deer, tapir, and other indigenous animals along with jaguars. In addition to the wildlife, you'll find picture-perfect waterfalls surrounded by lush greenery, hiking trails, and mountain peaks. Number 1. Belize Barrier Reef Of course, no trip to Belize could be complete without taking in some of the grandeur of the Belize Barrier Reef. Running nearly 200 miles along the Caribbean coastline, it's second in size only to Australia's Great Barrier Reef. More than 500 species of fish, dozens of species of shellfish, and 70 types of coral make for one of the best snorkeling and diving destinations on the planet. There's no way you'll see everything in one go, so the strategy is vital. We already mentioned the Great Blue Hole, but the Holchon Marine Reserve is another excellent place to visit and includes Shark Ray Alley, and you'll swim among sharks, rays, turtles, and more while visiting this impressive reserve. And if you are more interested in the stunning, complex coral systems, the Calle Kulker Marine Reserve has coral gardens rich with spectacular formations. That does it for today's video. Do you agree with our list? Is there a favorite spot in Belize that you think is a must-see? What other Caribbean travel destinations do you want us to do a deep dive into next? Sound off in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to let us know by leaving a like down below. And if you're hungry for more inspirational and helpful travel content like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We upload videos multiple times a day. Ringing the bell will enable notifications so you're always the first to know when a fresh video drops. Until next time, travel safe.